Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I hope all of you are doing okay during this lockdown condition. Today I'm going to talk about how you can grow the Chinese cabbage again and again and I'm going to show you the cooking too. So you see this is the Chinese cabbage and if you want to regrow it again and again you have to cut it from this portion I'll show you and it needs really good cleaning before cooking so you clean it properly the Chinese cabbage the Napa cabbage whatever you call it and then you have to cut it from here and this portion has lots of sand and dirt and this is the portion you're going to put it in your garden or in your flower pot wherever you want to grow it so this way you can grow regrow all your vegetables now that you know we are in hard times and we need to learn to grow our vegetables ourselves and a lot of the places we can't even buy seeds so you can use the vegetable to grow and regrow so just grow your vegetable and so before cooking you cut out the bottom so i'm going to show you i have like um, 10 or more than 10 of these and i'm going to regrow and this similar way i have regrown cabbage and scallions so you see this portion and I'm going next time I'll show you the regular cabbage how you can grow now once you put it underground this one outside in the soil this one will start growing roots and within 10 days you'll see this will start growing and then you have it again and again next time when you cut it just cut the leaves and I'm going to show you how you can cook it now let me show you this as you see, I have this plastic and the plastic full of the bottom. And I'm been putting on this bottom. So I'm going to put it in my garden. And when it starts growing, I'll show you. If I can take some pictures, I will show you how I put it. Um, and this is how you grow. This is how you grow the cabbage this is how you grow scallion you can grow celery like that you can grow beetroot you can grow carrot you can grow anything from that vegetable if you don't have the seed and i'm going to show you all those one by one because i know this is tough time and we need to learn to grow it if we want to eat it and now the markets there are not much vegetables available they're very expensive not even water available so we need to just learn to do all this thing ourselves for our own sake so i'm going to show you how to cook this napa cabbage this is very tasty and you know with this tough time with this sickness it's best to be a vegetarian because when you are vegetarian your body has more resistance towards diseases so grow your vegetable eat your vegetables stay clear from animal protein animal products then you fight the diseases better and just eat the healthy vegetables so this I'm going to have to put some spices spice is very important So I will put some cumin seeds. And some asaphodita. And I have garlic. 
Now garlic is very important with this and eating garlic is very important. So eat your raw garlic every day. Ask your doctor before you do any of this. In fact, ask your doctor, nurse, the church priest, everybody you can about eating um, vegetables, you know, fruits and vegetables, all the healthy stuff. So ask all of them, all the um, advisors, the you nice know, advisors. So here I am sauteing the garlic and I will make it a little bit of brown and this is very simple yet very tasty and very good for your health now I have a lot of this cabbage about 10 or 12 I chopped it up so I go to a lot of the cabbage I'm going to make it and when you cook it it becomes little so I have to make sure that my garlic is roasted and now to that I'm going to add my cabbage You know this cabbage is the hardest thing is washing and cleaning and that will take about 15 minutes and then cooking 15 minutes. But it's very good for your health. Eat as much as greens as you can. Now I have salt, turmeric, little bit of garam masala and little bit of vegetable masala. That's all. We're not going to add anything special. You can add some chili pepper if you wish. To make it hot but I am going to just make it simple and I added on my spices Now I'm going to put a cover in it for 15-20 minutes and it will be done. This is very simple recipe and I have all the bottom parts that will go put it in my garden and they will start growing and I will wash the two of them. I have the one I just cut it and I'll add it to this and I'll show you in 15 minutes. See that my Chinese cabbage is ready and it's looking awesome and you can eat this with the brown rice or bread or just by itself so just make it and enjoy it it's really really good for um, our health so thank you don't forget to like subscribe comment and share the video and I'll see you many many more thank you bye bye Hi, bok choy is from a cabbage family and it's very very nutritious. Eating bok choy daily has significant health benefits. Bok choy prevents cancer so and it's very dark leafy green. Bok choy is very easy to grow. You can just cut the bottom portion and then put it in water or soil and it will grow and when it grows a little bit it has few leaves then you can put it in the soil and you can grow and regrow and eat it. And it's very simple to cook. This gets done in 5 to 10 minutes. Very crunchy, tasty, nutritious, green food very low in calories and very nutrition packed so one cup of cooked bok choy is only 20 calories and um, it's very very low 
um, uh, a power lechilo in pad and cholesterol but it's full of vitamin and minerals and it's really good for cold and flu too so it has vitamin K 64% of the daily value when it has vitamin C 59% Vitamin A, 40%, protein, yes, um, it has a little bit of protein, not so much, protein only 5%, but this is the only vegetable which has protein, it has folate, 17%, calcium, 16%, vitamin B6, 16%, Potassium 13%, iron 10%, and has manganese 10%, vitamin B2 8%, phosphorus that has 7%, 5% or 6%, and choline 5%. Uh, and I told you already protein it has 5% it has vitamin B3 5% magnesium 4% vitamin B1 4% zinc 3% omega 3 fats 3% pantanic acid 3% and copper 3% so as you can see, this is very, very nutrition-dense vegetable and it's really good for our health, overall health. So just buy this Chinese cabbage bok choy and grow and regrow it and cut it and enjoy it. You can grow it in your home as well and just put it in a little bit of water in a plastic container and then keep changing the water and it will give out leaves and then if you have a small container or just a yogurt container make few holes at the bottom and put some soil and just grow it in your kitchen window and you'll have fresh leaves till to add it to your soup, salad, or anything that you're cooking, your noodles, or your rice, and it is really, really awesome, tasty, healthy, very good. So thank you so much, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video, and I will see you with many, many more. Just eat healthy, stay healthy, and be healthy. Thank you, bye-bye sweet dreams hi thank you so so much for being here today i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video thank you may god bless you all